Tristan. Hey, How are you? I'm good. Good to you. I'm loving the glasses. Oh, <laughs> this is recommended. <laughs> you know how happy I am that you're here. You have no <laughs> idea. Like you've invited me on live. Like I'm so happy. What? Like, I, I, do you know what happened? I saw I saw your music video. Um, not the music video, but I saw <laughs> like the, the the yeah, and I was and I heard it on Spotify, and I was like. I have to call her in. Hey. <laughs> I was like, I have to call you in. And it's such a feel good music. And, you know, like, I'm always at my happy place when I listen to it. And I just sort of want to jump up and dance. I can't really dance, but <laughs> I can try. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> but oh my God, it's nice to have you. Thank you for having me, babe. But I'm glad you love the song. It's a- I love like- the song. I love. I never knew that you were interested in music, and I was like, I have to ask. No, because I didn't. I know that you're so like amazing, and you had like done so many amazing things, you know. But I didn't like guess even that you would, yeah. you know. But that is dope. I was like, wow, yeah. I, was like, I have to get you hundred percent. But thank you. Yeah. I didn't even have to ask twice. You're just that amazing. <laughs> Oh, I'm kidding, right? You're picking me up. Babe, just keep gassing me right now, girl. Can I wear yes. one of this every day? You deserve it. The boys every day telling me how you... You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve it. You worked for it. You deserve it. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I'm still going to have to tell you to introduce yourself to us, you know. Like, you know, give us a little taste of, you know, who this gorgeous lady is. <laughs> Well, um, okay, I'm not sure if I should give you the real version of my name or the water. Now I'm going to go for the real version. So my name is, <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Nobile. My name is Nobile, but um, everyone pretty much calls me Nobile because it's easier. I mean, I everyone... call you Nobile. Please don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? I've never really been able to click my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 honestly. Like all the best, best tricks in the book. I just don't know how. <laughs> it's not fair. Friend, none of my friends can pronounce it, so they should be ashamed. So you've given it your best go. Like, I love it. <laughs> just, oh, let me clap for you. Let me clap for you. you, you, you Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, I love it, love it, love it. So, yes, tell us what you do and, you know, some of your amazing moments. And, yeah. Yes, yes. So, um, I've been a dancer for, yeah, it's been over eight years now. And, wow. and yeah, I've been recording music on the side as well. But then this year, I was like, voila, I'm going to go for it. And, wow. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. That's amazing. Okay, so like I read about like how you came from South Africa to um, the UK. Yes, babe. I'm because I'm, I, I I was thinking I wait because I was thinking were you born in the UK but you have only grown grown up here so like back home is. Babe, I've got, my accent is slightly still there. It will never leave. Like, I'm purely Southern African and proud, baby. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally born and raised in Southern Africa. And I I came here in 2001. So I've been here for a long, yeah, long time. I came here when I was young, but still, like, I'm pure, I'm just South African. Like, oh, exactly. Yeah. I say this way, I'm Nigerian, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I love, so, love your people. I love you guys. Nice I love you guys. It. like I don't understand how you guys have so much sauce. You have so many vibes. I love it. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh my <laughs> God. I'm gonna burst here. Like, <laughs> okay, so this is it. Yeah, like I know, like, obviously, you were obviously a little bit grown when you left, you know, South Africa. Like, when you first came to the UK. Like how how did, did you feel like you missed like you're gonna miss your friends a lot or did you miss your friends a lot or like what what were the best things best moments that you missed from obviously leaving back home? Um, you know what? To be honest, not really the friends part. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's more it's more like I miss the food, the culture, ah. and like mm. the way of life, like. 
when I moved here, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so weird. People are not as friendly. You know, like that home, like neighbors are your your people. Like when you have your neighbors, like you know they're that's neighbors. like family. That's you've got like extended family and stuff. Yeah. So when I came here, I was like, ah, what's going on in here? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, but yeah, okay. So that's like, and did like the first first time like I met, like not met you, like met you, but I saw you. You went on Britain's Got Talent. Oh my god! I was like, and then that was actually the first time because I have a very very beautiful. Um, she's like a little sister to me you know yeah. um family friend soliat which is like a very good friend of yours but it was no way. yeah that's so crazy no yeah way. yeah oh, yeah Soli, Soli. So, is like is like family to me i love her to bits you know but oh, yeah. when i saw okay. you guys oh, yeah. on britain's got talent yeah. i wanted to pop <laughs> <laughs> i'm serious i was like whoa I was yeah. like, you guys are gonna knock. I was like, these girls are gonna knock it out the park. I was, I, I got up from my chair and yeah. I stood in front of the TV. I was like, yes, so, we're ready. So, it, <laughs> no, was, it, I feel like yeah. we, had, we had to do it for the whole of Africa. Like, yeah, the from that show was insane. It was insane. Like, we had never received that much support. I feel like just like the whole of Africa came and like proper like was jumping. No, around. you guys, <laughs> and then like. Was that like your starting point, like proper, proper starting point? Or was like, were you guys doing stuff before that to kind of like lead you up to that moment? Babe, we've been doing stuff since 2010. Like it's been, oh my gosh, I'm about to get emotional. Our anniversary is coming out on a, hey Jesus, I said anniversary. Our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Family is family. Let's just keep going. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> So the CEO dancers um 10 year anniversary is coming out on the 10th of June. That's wow, dude. literally been a uh, dance group since uh 20 and from there literally we're doing uni tours. Wow. And then our first our first frame was um with Debanj. So Debanj, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oliver, <laughs> Oliver, hey, please, Oliver, please. Oh my god! Okay. Yeah, I was like, ah! Oh, and who did the split? It was you. You did the split. Babe, all of us did the split. Who no, did the split? you us. went at the end. And you dropped. I yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm too excited. So, so the, you know, um, the whole of Mo hits, right? The yeah, yeah. It was the first introduction to them. Apparently, it was the first show they did in the UK. They came out here and they needed dancers. Last minute, the band needed dancers, and from there, literally, that was in 2011. We, we all clicked and he was like i'm keeping you lady and it's wow oh that is sick i like that i really yeah, do from there, we went before. that was i feel like that was our first that was like our main our first break and then Briggs Briggs got talent just took it to a next level yeah. yeah oh my god you guys made it to like the semi-finals didn't you yeah yeah, yeah. Oh my I remember god. That. that was that was that was dope. You guys shouldn't stop. You guys should definitely like what happened? Like you guys were you are I'm you're still keeping your relationships, right? Yes, oh, come on, of course. Like, oh, okay. I feel like it can I feel like when you've been friends with people with somebody for a long time, regardless of what happened, regardless of where you are in life, it's always a connection. I feel like that sisterhood. That's why we became a group in the first place. Our friends literally love dancing. Yeah. And, like, we used to dance in Soliat's garden. Let me tell you something about Soliat, yeah? She's been dancing and cooking from... Well, it started with the food. Mm. Like, her family just loves to cook. Oh, they cook, they cook, they're cooking like big pots in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. I, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like, obviously like, to be honest, the dance I wasn't too surprised because I met Solia again and I can't remember what year. And I remember she said to me, oh, she had started this dance group and they just like taking lessons. If I wanted to come, I can join. But then I'm, I, yeah. Yeah. Just like that. That's just so like that but then you know what because we i lived at that time in like north london and you guys are in like south like at yeah. that time yeah so it's just like 
distance and then obviously I had to focus on my studies and, uh, but if it wasn't distance yeah, yeah I would just like go after college you know but distance was like a big factor I went to school all the way in Dagenham you know what? Dagenham, yeah Dagenham Eatway yeah uh -huh. it was crazy crazy journey I had like a three hour journey every day wait, wait just to get to college how did you do that, how did you do that? I, I sometimes I actually got on buses. Damn. Yeah. I've done that as well. You know when you have to catch the bus and the train, then another bus. Oh, it's long, but it has, it has to be done. Yeah, like I would take one long bus, like about an hour, then drop, then get on the next bus about another hour, and then I like, just sit on the bus, another bus for like thirty minutes. Damn. <laughs> I know, <it's> crazy, <laughs> right? You know, sometimes the trains are annoying. You know, and I, I get like claustrophobic. You're gonna be like this girl's got so many problems <laughs> <laughs> but wow that's that's like really really dope but you guys obviously you still keep in contact are you guys gonna do anything like sometime soon or we, you know what we, now that you've brought it up we're thinking of actually like celebrating our 10th year anniversary doing something quite special but you know with this lockdown sis i don't know how that one is gonna happen <laughs> no but you, this lockdown is not going to be forever you know this yes and that like oh, yeah i need, I need something yeah I, I and i feel like as long as everybody's in great health as well you know you're in good health you're looking beautiful tonight you know and soliat is in great great health is amazing great yeah. health i'm in great health we're, we're all definitely gonna meet again and you know just like yes. party after party I feel like playing your song now, you know, but I don't want to, not yet. People need to wait. <laughs> but dope, 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 dope. Okay, so like basically I wanted to ask like um I have my questions here. Ooh, questions, questions. <laughs> okay, so like you know like with your with your you did some was it last year? You did Kenzo. Oh my god! Yes, yes. Kenzo, um, fashion show, Paris Fashion Week. Girl! And then, like, you choreograph, like, the whole routine. Ah, yes! Oh my goodness, girl. It was stress. It was, like, <laughs> the most work I had to do as a choreographer or performer. Oh god. No, actually, not as a choreographer. Like, it was my first time proper choreographing for a show or a big project like that. Literally, I feel like I've never said this to myself, but I actually am proud of myself, girl. I'll be here, I'm proud of you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm proud of you too. It was a lot of work, literally a whole week having to create, you know. Wow. Work so, like, how many people did you have? Like, what's the highest number of people you've had to choreograph? Girl, this one was 18, but it wasn't just that. It was 18 dancers, plus the models, plus the whole team. Lord. You yeah. did well. It turned up. It turned up. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was like, wow, and like, obviously, you know, I'm. I don't want to get get any down down moments and stuff. But like, obviously, I know that during that period, you know, there was like a little bit of like difficult moments for you. I don't really want to go into details yet, you know, because I want you to stay happy. But, no, we we can be open. I mean, I'm. If it's something. <laughs> I'm, I'm open. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, so like, how were you able to balance it? You know how, like, you know, with all those emotions going through you, and you know the, you know, yeah. The <laughs> I don't want to say it because my heart goes out. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, like the young, the, the young ladies, you know, like um the lady I, I think you were looking for your sisters or your sisters or your cousin's friend um like your sister your, your sister's friend like from back home you said there was a lady that got um molested and then um murdered oh lord yeah lord. you posted about that yeah i saw that and like did that motivate you to like push further into your music or you know because your, your music definitely brings us to a very very happy place and we're excited i'm, I'm so happy <laughs> to hear the on a lighter of that thank you i mean even with that, what happened with her being a musician, you know, she knew that I was working on music and she was always on territory and stuff. And it's a shame that she didn't do this song because I feel like it's, it's one of my best work. 
had so far you know she was listening to my old stuff or whatever but i wanted to see my friends but anyway with that I, you know i've always wanted to release something but this time around when that happened i was kind of actually more inspired to be over yeah found someone like her who was literally like a pro getter like she just literally went for everything yeah there whether the audience there was 10 people a thousand people she was literally all about the music and i was like you know what let me be intentional about my my shit let me yeah. really release this let me go for it regardless of what time i like, like that you know, yeah really, i was thinking oh my god are people gonna care to listen to my music of and course like, People are used to me being a dancer. People are going to really care. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was, how long? Like, like I know you said when you started dancing, you, 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 you obviously were doing music on the side, but like, yeah. like for how long? Like for how long? Uh, like, or how long had you known, or did, like, did you know that you was going to actually, you know, start this? Because obviously, you didn't. It didn't happen in a day. Even though you wanted to do it, you've been doing it on the side. It started yeah. from one time. Like when? When did it start? When was it that you said, you know, what, I'm going to do music as well? You know, girl, you guys are probably going to laugh because it's been a long time. 2014 is when I decided I'm actually going to be an artist. I know, and it might be. Oh, but you know what it is? You know what it is, babe. I had to literally. I'm glad I didn't, you know, launch as an artist any sooner because. I feel like I would, it would have been so beautiful. I wouldn't have been ready. And the content, the kind of sound I want, who I am, yeah. I wouldn't have been sorry. Now I feel like, um, you know, just as an artist, an all around just performer, I feel like now I'm in a good place. I'm more confident in myself as well. And yeah. tightening my sound. Like when I'm in the studio now, it's just, it comes naturally. And I'm enjoying it. Before it was a struggle. Like, oh my God, do I sound like this? trying to figure out my now i'm there so i'm glad wow I did. that's so like, dope 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 i love that where did you get where did you get dance from from mom or from dad dad has no talent whatsoever <laughs> oh i'm gonna tell on you <laughs> more of a businessman and very you know academic mom huh? like i have i got my body my smile my personality my talent uh-huh. Mama, That's... Mama, I'm sorry, she's my favorite person. Oh, <laughs> my mom, see. You're making me miss my mom. Go away. <laughs> my mom, she's not in America. I miss my mom so much. Oh. I know. Uh, how many, like, all together, like, how many countries have you been? Can you count? <laughs> can, you, can you count on all 10 fingers? Okay, let's just say the only place I haven't been just yet is Asia and the Caribbean. Apart from that, pretty much most places. In America, everywhere, literally. North America, South America, pretty much wow. America, Africa, Europe. Yeah. Like the Caribbean and Asia that I haven't been to. And I really want to visit Asia this year, hopefully. Yeah, you will. Oh. Don't worry. Which mm. country would you step into first? Ooh. Japan, without a doubt, Japan. Mm, so, are you going to be dropping like music in Japan? Like, topping the chats in, in, video in, there sure. in like. Video there. You're going to do a music video? Mm hmm. Mad And that's going to really suit you. I can see it. <laughs> no, I can see it. I'm serious. <laughs> you don't believe me, but I can see I can see it. I have a vision. You know, the, the Holy Spirit speaks to me. <laughs> Africa, I think East Africa or somewhere in Asia, Japan or let's say Tanzania or Japan. Yeah, I think that would be dope to be honest. That yeah. that would give it like some sort of different vibe to the usual like Afrobeats that we hear. So, yeah, yeah. we there's so many Afrobeats, is like vast, so many, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, it's so broad, like there's so much you can do with it. Exactly, yeah. but then, like, I was gonna say, like, obviously, you just dropped this new track. You know, and um, look at her, by the way, it's amazing. Is that like about, you know, women in general, you know, you want to bring? Mm. Yeah, I want literally, in the studio, it was nothing but just like good vibes. Team Salute are like, they're like my bros, man. They have such good vibes. Like, literally, they're not dancers, but for some reason, every time like we create something, like that energy, they're always dancing. It's so cute. And, like the inspiration behind look at her was literally i wanted to make her an 
females. Like that's wow. how I want to do something special for women. I want it to feel good. I want it to feel me. I want it to dance to it. I want to dance. I want to enjoy it. Yes, exactly. That's Music exactly. that you enjoy and everyone enjoys it with. There's nothing even more beautiful. That's dope. I like that. You know, but I was just like gonna ask you like how is COVID treating you because right now you're supposed to be like touring your sound like touring your music like <laughs> doing your beautiful music video which is gonna be how soon in Jesus name yeah you know like so like have you been able to like promote so far you know because I know like we're all like jumping on IG live but we really really wish we could actually have you around that would have been really really dope yeah, you, know. you know you yeah. know I just feel like like I said before I'm the kind of person is regardless of what's happening you have to make it work so mm-hmm. you know like you've got Instagram you've got social media in general like yeah platforms that are free so why not make use of that it's love it yeah I had some radio interviews that have been great, you know. Wow. Yes. It's been it's been great. And it's only been six days and it's been a fun, amazing, stressful, fun at the same time, six days. So, you know, we're just making it work with what what's going on. Here. I'm glad I'm glad you're making it work because, you know, like I'm not downing anyone, but you know, it's in this period, it's very hard to get the mental strength to, you know, just go for things. You know, you, you people tend to like, but you've flipped it. You made it a positive. We are making it a positive together. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you see what we did there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 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 what it is. So like, what genre of music? are you listening to at the moment like Ooh. that is like your go-to I love this question, I love this question. <laughs> okay. okay not because i'm south african but listen babe after this live you need to actually check out this sound or this genre there's a sound called piano it's from south africa i'm not wait sure. why wait after this live when we can just check for it now yeah. and play it now can you spell it for me please Sure. So it's A M A. A M A. Then piano, like piano. Piano. Yes. I'm a piano. I'm a piano. Yeah. Mm, I'm okay, gonna... Yes. 
he's Nigerian, but he's not, he was not, he's not really Nigerian. Well, he's Nigerian, um, UK Nigerian. Oh, UK, yeah. uh, 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 was he cute? <laughs> he's had, girl, like, <laughs> cute. Also, why did you split up? We didn't split, um, I, I don't want to get into it, we haven't split up. Ah, <laughs> uh, you see, I've been asking the right questions. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I let you be. I let you be because you know I'm, I'm a, you know. But um, I'm I'm a good girl. You know I don't want to grill you. <laughs> I don't want to leave you in the sun to dry. <laughs> no, but I love that. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna say pick one: love or money. Mm, do I have to pick? Mm-hmm. <laughs> For now, money. For now, money. Yeah, mama. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Girls gotta eat. Stop, babe. <laughs> no, true though. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, if you had to change anything in this world, please don't mention Corona. Because that's, that, that, <laughs> in its own, <laughs> apart from Corona, if you had to change anything in this world, what would it be? I feel like the timing is perfect for that question. It has to be this whole bullshit. I'm just over it, you know? Just the killings of our people. Like, tired of it. I had a moment earlier, I was literally just like emotional. I started crying, just letting it out. I, I was just confused, like, why is this happening? I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. You know, enough is enough. Why is this constantly happening? And why is it taken as a, a priority, as a serious issue? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just so sad. Yeah. It's like, for me, it, it touches me even more because my mom, like I said, my mom, she lives in America and I go through days and I'm worried. I'm like, okay, what if she's going to the shop or going here and something? Yeah. Like, things like that. Like, um, you can never be so um, yeah comfortable or at ease. And it's yeah. So sad. Yeah. The thing is, like, it's been happening for a very long time. And I don't understand why it's seeming like people are just noticing it in a way. And this is why when, to be honest, you know, I'm, I'm not heartless, but mm. when I saw the news, I just went mm. next because it's mm. not, it's like, it's been like, when are you going to do something about it? When are people going to mm. stop talking about it and start doing something about it? Exactly. exactly. You know, and that's what really annoys me. And obviously I just feel like, yes, enough is enough. I think people need to take steps. Don't talk about it. Don't, don't like, I like we're talking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But until like somebody actually puts their feet for, like their feet forward and actually uh, does action. something, action, mm -hmm. action speaks so much clearer than words. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's sad to be honest. I yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I I'm not I'm not I'm not really much for words. Uh, but <laughs> I'm. <it's> just... <laughs> It's, 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 it's my loved ones like yourself because I do love you I've always loved like you know me anyway that that make me talk a little I'm, I'm not really much for like talking 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 yeah. you know so but like it, it just I, it hurts a lot there's certain things that even yeah. words cannot take away yeah you know mm -hmm. and it just uh, yeah uh, I just feel like everyone's feeling the same you know, I'm not a fan of talking about these things, but it's just like today, I just felt like enough is enough. Yeah, one of those days, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I've, I've cried, I've been like, actually today I was very, very moody. <laughs> you're, you're the only joy right now that I'm like, apart from, because I have, oh, I have three, three beautiful girls. My oldest is 17. She's going to be 17 soon. My youngest is 7. How? How? Ah, How? They came all, they came from somewhere. <laughs> 17. You look very young. What's going on here? What's Don't play on? with me, girl. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't. Don't even go there. <laughs> no, like, no, but she's, she's, like, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, ah, life have actually, like, dealt me some cards, you know, and I've had to, like, mature up, even yeah. from a very young age. 
you know so it's like i i look at things from a very unique perspective and if you're really um careful you would know me do you get what i mean Mm-hmm. No, not in a bad way, but some people they just don't care. That's why you use the word careful because they just don't care. They just like pretend to care and they don't really know you. So, like, when you don't say what the trains are saying, they're like the first on their feet to run away. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you can go, it's okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, come on, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I I feel like someone might be upset, but who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> well, he's not watching this this live, you know, the person that we heard, so that's okay. Okay. Um, oh, oh my gosh, it's I. I've got two crushes right now. I've got a long time crush, Michael B. Jordan. He's playing games with this. It's like he does. It's like <laughs> I've confessed my love for how many years. Oh. Michael B. Jordan, listen, babe, I love you. I love you. <laughs> but, I'll be sure to just screen record th- that part <laughs> and send it to him. <laughs> it's a promise. <laughs> Hopefully, he gets it. God, please. <laughs> okay, help me, guys. My new crush now. You know the guy, um, Lakeith. I'm not sure if you know him. He's from. I'm trying to think, what has he been in? Ty. Have you seen that new film with um, Adam Sandler? It's called Gems or something. Oh, Lakeith, when we finish this live, go and check him out. That guy, he's just so... Is it that fine? <laughs> is, it, is it like not, chocolate spread? It's not even his face. It's just... His face, yes, it's delicious, but it's his personality. He's so... And he's so... And yeah. He's, a man with good personality is like chocolate uh, spread. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no, I'm going to check him out. I will check him out. Dope. Okay. <laughs> the way you said, mm. Wait, I, like, just, <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, I know. But you know, we have to be proud of our own, you know, <laughs> love and respect, love and respect. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So, um, if you you have to pick one, if you could date anyone right now, who will it be? David or Whiskey or Bonnie Boy? Only because they're the three raining at the moment, like raining, raining like that. Hmm. You know what? Mm, oh, this is just oh, I'm giving too much. I think you know what? There's something about whiskey. I feel like whiskey is such a star. He has that presence, and I know like some girls have that whole height issue, but for me, I don't care. There's something about that guy. When he's in a room, he commands respect. And... But then Bernard boy, his energy, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that vibe. And then what's the other one? Was it David O? Yeah. He's just a sweet guy and he takes care of his people. I can't choose now. You have to. And only for the, because basically, I, all these things he just said is just right for each person. Energy. I'll choose but we still. But we still. <laughs> no, it's not possible. Choose one. <laughs> choose one. Because you're putting me under pressure, let's go for whiskey. Just because I'm under pressure. Well, something told me you would. Because we have like um, <laughs> requirements that like tick. I think we have similar interests, so it's gonna work. <laughs> Whiskey. Oh, oh well, no. someone is writing some. They said I tried that before on you. <laughs> yeah, your <laughs> oh my god! Someone said I'm not gonna say that. Ah. <laughs> before oh, I do, cut me off live. Thank you very much. Hey, don't I can't you. say it though, but I don't want you to cut me. <laughs> because who would you kiss, kill, and marry? Are they goat? Yeah. Oh. Born a boy or David? O? Kiss, kill, and marry. Oh um, you're you're we really, you're messy right now. You're well, I I don't you know you know because I'm on the outside. I don't really know what's really going on, so I don't know if I'm being messy or not. I'm just asking you. I'm just asking you a question, an honest question, and it's not my fault that they are trending, you know, in the Afrobeat uh, words, you know. Uh, so okay. um, you're co- you're causing trouble here, but okay. Um, 
I would marry Ade Kunle. I love you, bro. He's my bro. Love you, bro. I'd marry Ade Kunle. Uh, I'd kiss Bernard. And I'd kill David O. Just because I can get away with it. He will get away with it. <laughs> yeah, it's really sweet like that. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So what, like in all like, your, in your career and everything that you've been doing, you know, so what's been like the standout moment for you, like your best moments? Like your most best moment? Um, you know what? I think it has to be probably the Drake tour. That one for me just took the big out. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is possible, really? You know, and from there, I was like, wow, wow. Wait, what was the first, first international tour? Or, um, like, did you, like, which which one was your first one? And, like, which one was like, I, I know you went on Britain's Got Talent, then all of a sudden, I saw Solly in America. I was like, you know, then I thought you were touring with Tiwa. Yes, we... Well, we toured with Tiwa the same just before the Drake tour. That was 2016. Oh, yeah. And, but before that, we were literally on our CEO dancers tour. Like, we toured yeah. as CEO dancers from Tiwa. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And then it was after Tiwa that you did Drake. No, we did Rihanna first. We did Rihanna, then Drake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So how long were you in America for? Oh, Lord. Three months. <laughs> that was, like, the oh. best. That's like literally, that's like the best experience I've ever had as a dancer, ever, ever. Like it's just in all, every, in every way. I every love way. that. Oh, uh, did Sonia cook you some delicious, delicious meal? Because we all know that girl can cook. <laughs> okay, the thing about Sonia, right? She's a great cook, but she doesn't cook when I want her to cook. She doesn't cook for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Like that. She doesn't cook for her friends. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's what happens, you know. It does happen. I see. I, I actually see that happening. I want to ask you your most embarrassing moment. Just make up anything. It's possible. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> this is real. So I was dancing one time, and I remember that's when I was wearing my purple hair. I was actually dancing for Tiwa back then. We had a show. Wig fell off mid performance. Lord, I literally stood there. I had to pick up my wig, turn around, put it on as if nothing happened. But people saw it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Instagram might cut me off. I want to ask you, like, how long did it take you to pick your wig up? This, I can't even remember. To me, it felt like a whole hour, but apparently it was three seconds. But I think it was, yeah. I was hot. I was, I was, ah. Uh, and then you had to jump back in the routine. Literally, I don't know how I did that, but that's like literally, that's never happened. It happened one time. And wow! No, 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 no. Those moments do come. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Do you have like a video of that moment? God forbid. <laughs> Thank God there's no video. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. Wait, wait. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. All right. So weird, and I can't share it. I don't know. <laughs> time.